In the four years since I started reviewing theater, I've seen every new musical and revival that has graced the Broadway stage but two, which I will be seeing in the spring when their national tours come through Hartford. Many of these shows have entertained. Some have made me laugh. Some have enlightened. Some I've wanted to throw a shoe at them. But only two have ever moved me in a way that I walked away feeling like I have seen something truly transformative. One was Come From Away, which is my favorite musical since I've started reviewing theater. The other is The Band's Visit. tonight with us if you if you want no you have done too much already okay Once, not long ago, a group of musicians came to Israel from Egypt. You probably didn't hear about it. It wasn't very important. Hello, and welcome to One Man's Opinion, where I review professional theater across Connecticut, national tours, and Broadway. Today, I will be reviewing the national tour of the Tony Award-winning Best Musical, The Band's Visit, touring all over the country, as far-reaching as Los Angeles to Rochester, New York, through July next year. Now, I, I love this musical. With music and lyrics by David Yazbek and a book by Itamar Moses, and directed by David Cromer, The Band's Visit is a stage adaptation of a 2007 Israeli film of the same name. It follows members of the Alexandria Ceremonial Police Orchestra from Egypt, who in 1996, through a slight mix-up at the bus terminal, end up in the town of Bet HaTikva instead of Petsa Tikva, where they were headed to for an event where they were scheduled to perform. The Egyptian ensemble meets the motley population of Bet HaTikvans, led by Dinah, played by Janet Dakal. The people of Bet HaTikva are people who have grown stagnant in their own isolation. They stew in their grief, angst, anger, fear, and on occasion, bigotry. One little slip of fate, bringing this band into town, changes their lives. Dinah convinces the regulars at her cafe to take the musicians for the night until they can catch the next bus the following morning. And what follows is a series of smaller stories as each of the musicians go on their own individual adventures, whether it be going out to pick up girls at the roller rink, helping a family suffering from loss, or rediscovering the importance of having a human connection. Being only 90 minutes, the band's visit doesn't have time to rest on exposition in order to keep the story going. Thankfully, Yaz, Beck, and Moses have written a streamlined narrative with very distinct characters whose depth and breadth of being are defined within minutes. Some of the reasons why these characters are acting the way they are may not always materialize until later in the show, but their actions are definite and strong the entire way. Would I like some of the musicians have maybe a little more character definition early on yes now what helps with the band's visit is Yazbek's score and the size of the cast it's not that big for a musical the folksy middle eastern score creates a natural and casual environment that the performers rest in like a comfortable pair of old shoes there's only one real big ensemble number, and that's near the end. Otherwise, the show is confined to solos, duets, and smaller ensemble numbers. The music attaches itself to the performers, creating a sensuality. It's sometimes seductive, sometimes playful, other times tender and mournful. The cast embrace this concept wholeheartedly, from the playboy Haled, played by Joe Joseph, to the timid Poppy, played by Kobe Getzug, the most dynamic relationship is between Dinah and 
Tufik, the band director played by Sasson Gabe. The balance between Dina's sensual nature against Tufik's reserved officer demeanor is carefully threaded by Dekal and Gabe, who sometimes, I think, underplay it just a bit, but still keep the intimate nature of their growing together definitive and sublime. No review of the band's visit is complete without com commenting on the band itself, who five of the members are on stage through much of the show. Uh, they are all wonderful, especially Brian Crock on clarinet and Kane Mathis on Ode, who shine throughout. The band's visit is a beautiful show. The characters are simple, human, and frail, like all of us when we break ourselves down. The show reminds us not to stay trapped in ourselves. We are more, and if we let in those who are different, those who we may initially fear or distrust, we may all learn something more about each other and, with diversity, grow. So that is one man's opinion of the national tour of a band's visit scheduled to tour across the United States through July of 2022. If you'd like to know when they'll be stopping near you, I'll leave a link in the description box to their website. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel to see future reviews. My next review will be the Broadway production of Diana the Musical. So until next time, I'll see you at the theater.